Hello guys, this is Alexi with Rock and Roll Tennis Camps and today I want to talk about one of the concepts um, the, and terminology that, that I came up with and it's called arm independence. So I consider it that to be its own skill and in, in my mind it's one of the most important skills that you can have for your all your baseline shots. So be it forehands, backhands, slices or serves. So that skill is going to be transferable around all of those shots. So let me just give you a quick description and uh, ex explanation of what I mean exactly by arm independence skill. So by that I mean when you're doing, let's just say, I'll, I'll just take a forehand as an example. When, when you're doing a forehand, the majority of your power is gonna come from, from your arm. So using a lot of body and arm being still, this is, this is what I would refer to as connected. So that basically, locks the arm in and you're creating all the power with your body so a lot of people and i work with with beginners and all the way through division one athletes and and uh people on the tour but but across the board like all all the beginners need, and and not just beginners it probably goes all the way to like three five even even some four o's a lot of people tend to equate using the body with with ball going fast and a lot of coaches don't help to emphasize that the, the body hits the ball or body makes it go powerful or makes makes the body makes the ball go fast that is just not the case the body is, is way more bulky you you move in your body this is probably the fastest I can do there is not a chance that's gonna go that fast and in doing that, you're also spending a ton of energy. So let me get it straight. You're using a ton of energy and the ball goes slow versus from, from my perspective, losing very little energy and ball goes extremely fast. Take a guess which way do pros use. So like I said, I, I work with, with, with levels anywhere from beginner all the way to a very very high level and obviously the, the more advanced you go in your levels the tougher the balls the opponent sends to you so the more you're going to be reliant on, on using your arm as a salvage tool and a kind of like a, your last resort or, or a plan b as i call it because i obviously if it's if it's balls ideal and you use your, your legs and, and you can rotate all of that is great and that that makes it better but a lot of times you'll be on a, on a dead run and you'll be lucky enough just to get racket on the ball and this is where the arm independence will really have to come out. Without that, you simply will not even make that shot at all. Now, like a, uh, I'll, I'll give you a quick caveat. Do legs increase uh, the speed of your shots? Yes, they do. Does the body rotation increase the speed of your shots? Yes, it does. But those, those things are, from my uh, perspective, are supplemental to the major component, which is arm. So arm is, I would estimate, I don't know, 70, 80% is the arm and legs and everything else constitute another uh, 20 to 30%. So together you have a big swing, but can you make the, a very powerful shot without any involvement of the legs and body? Well. Without, instead of me just telling you, let, let's do an experiment. Uh, a lot of coaches will say, you have, to, you have to rotate your body to create some power. So right now I'll, I'll put, I'll lock my legs into place and I'm specifically not gonna do hips rotation, even though that of course helps generate more, more power, the opening the hips. But for this experiment, I will, I will lock them in and I'll, I will lock my body and I just use the arm alone. And I'll, I'll show you, and you can do this experiment yourself. So here's will be the fastest I can swing just with the with the body. Is my my arm is gonna be fully locked in? I'm just gonna do it with the body. Okay, that was terrible. So if I hit like this, somebody like Carlos will make a fiery hole in the fence from that shot. Now, let's see. I'll, I'll, like I said, I'll, I'll lock the feet in so so I, I don't do the the hip rotation. So obviously. 
you know that that helps but I'll, I'll i'll take it out of the equation so i'll strip it just to the arm strictly here we go okay as you can see it's about i don't know 20 to 10 10 to 20 x amount of power without even including legs like i said all of those you know using the legs and, and using that coiling all of that just makes it that much better but your ability to use the arm is absolutely critical for uh, unlocking efficient strokes so i'll do uh, try to do it one more time feels a little bit weird yeah so uh, like i was saying you 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 take this power then you add a little bit of rotation body rotation and some legs and you have a atp slash wta great power behind your shots but a lot of times like i said you will be put in situations where you have to strip it just to your arm when you when you're in trouble and, and you just there's nothing else you you're just not in a position to put any kind of legs in at all and guess what's going to help you to make a shot your arm and if it's developed well not only can make it you can actually make it quite quite fast and and uh, even even aggressive so ho hope this makes sense um please let me know if you want me to clarify it but the, the idea is simple you should, you should use less twi twisting of the body and keep it more so still still head if you want to look like look like roger still head see and this is basically what you would look like say, say same in the back end so you, you, you can you can see and you can um check check my theory go look at the pros see see how, how much their head moves that doesn't move around like this I guarantee you will not see that because you know why because they want to win because that that takes a lot of energy and it makes your line go sideways your body's dragging your arm away from the target it's it's there's a, there's a tons of problems that happen from there I literally fix that mistake probably every lesson P people like to use their body but it's uh, it's a it takes a lot of uh, effort effort to do it doesn't make your swing any better what it does though it, it drags your arm off the target so your, your arm is trying to do its job don't get involved too much with the body with that being said uh, if you want me to answer a question you might have uh, about technique uh, please drop me a comment uh, with that being said go rock the courts mm -hmm.